Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to calculate the total sales per month for a fake company that was set up in the AdventureWorks database. I have three working examples for you to follow. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a routine that will give us the summation of the total amount that was ordered for a monthly period. Let's begin. I'm going to use AdventureWorks and then let's do some data discovery so we can see some data, see what it looks like. And you can see here that the columns of interest are going to be like the order date. We need to somehow get the uh, year and month out of this. And then the subtotal column. So we have two columns of interest to solve this problem. So here you can see that I have taken the year function and taken the order date and I just get the year out. And then I do the same thing with that same column and I get the month out. And then I want to summate the subtotal column. Now notice here, I have two columns that are not aggregate functions. And that is how I'm going to group this. So whenever you do group by, use the, all of the columns that make up the columns that are not in the aggregate. So here you see I have one column that's aggregating all the data, and I need to group by these other two. And then you can hear we're also doing an order by. And now let's execute this and let's see what happens. And here you can see that I have my year, my month, and the subtotal. In the second example, let's see what we're going to do with this data. I'm going to do data discovery. Then that's going to return all the rows. And my columns of interest this time are the order date. I'm going to get the year and the month. And then I want to do the subtitle, tax amount, freight, and total due. So you can see here, I'm going to get the month and year, just like the previous example, but then I'm going to do the sum on four columns. Now, once again, when I do group by, I just got to go determine the columns that aren't actually aggregate functions and put them down here. And that's what I'll be grouping by. I'll be grouping by the year and the month. And I'm also going to use that as my order by clause. And this is the output. So year, month, and then our totals for our data. In the third example, it's more thorough than the other two. Let's see what we're talking about. Let's do some data discovery and look at some data. Notice that we still have order date and we have subtotal. My goal for grouping is I want to group on the year and the month here. So you can see I've declared a table, and this is the variable name. And then this is in memory. And I'm going to put the sales year, the sales month, and the sales data into this. So the year of this, the month of this, and then this value is going to go into here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a select statement that same group by that we used in video one. And I'm going to insert that into this variable. This variable is of type table. So now that I have that table available to me, I'm now going to update that table. And I'm going to set the end of month, the last field. I'm going to send it to the end of month. And I'm going to get the year, month, and the first. And then I'm going to figure out what the end of the month is. And then I'm going to update that table. And then lastly, I'm going to print out the data. So let's execute this. Execute. And notice the output. So here you can see we have start of month, end of month, and the monthly sales. So April the 1st to April the 30th. December the 1st, December 31st. Now this right here was an amazing program to write. I hope you can enjoy 
what we've done and learned some new skills. Please click on the red subscribe button below. Then don't forget to click on the bell so you will be reminded and notified each week when I upload my new and exciting video.